Now we are going to move on to political news, aren't we? A lot going on in South Korea right now. There are just over three weeks to go until the country's presidential election. Today marks the beginning of the campaign period, free from a whole slew of legal constraints. Candidates and their supporters can hold rallies using microphones and loudspeakers, which are characteristic of elections here in South Korea. Streets are already starting to be lined with uh, posters and banners as well. Trucks with supporters on board will bring campaign music to every uh, neighbourhood and online and TV advertisements will begin to air as well. The campaigning ends uh, the day before election day, which is March 9th. A total of 14 candidates are on the ballot. Now with that, let's take a look at how the major candidates will be starting their campaigns. First, let's head over to the ruling Democratic Party's candidate, Lee Jae-myung, who's candidate number one. Uh, to Yeon, where is the first off for Lee? Good morning, Mo Yeon. I'm at the national headquarters of the ruling Democratic Party. Lee Jae-myung is currently not here. He's actually down at the southeastern port city of Busan. He started his official campaign schedule at midnight actually, at Busan's Vessel Traffic Service Center, where a lot of ships leave Korea for to export goods overseas. This sends a message that he wants to be a president who will boost the country's economy. We picked the city of Busan, which will be the center of the southern capital, as the starting point to symbolize the growth of the economy for Koreans and that we expand to the rest of the world through the sea and become a global leader. Another significant aspect is that Busan is one of the country's most conservative areas. That said, picking this city as his first stop of the official campaign shows his attempt to win the hearts of voters in the region with the idea of unifying the country. And Doyon, uh, just take us through what the remainder of E. J. Myung's schedule is going to look like. Mark, it's a busy day indeed. At 9 a.m., he'll be at Pujan Station greeting people and holding rallies. Then he will slowly make his way up northward, taking the train up to Tegu, a city in a re region he was born in. He is expected to say that he will become the first liberal president from the, from the area. Then he will go to Daejeon, a city with a lot of government offices and known for scientific research. He is expected to pledge to develop the city as the country's center for science and research. Finally, he will end his day at the express bus terminal in Seoul Sochogu district at 7 p.m. The campaign team has said they chose it because it's a bus terminal that leads to the rest of the country and receives people from across the country, signifying national unity. That's all I have for now. Back to you.